That's right. It's our second part here of our YouTube series on the DMVPN in part one. And by the way, the scope of the discussion is for the NRC certification exam from Cisco Systems. In the part one, we discussed the theory behind the whole DMVPN, and we really focused on the three big ingredients that are going to make this technology function for us. It's the multi-point GRE technology, the NHRP information, and also we're going to be using a great CryptoSec profile that is key in the configuration. So before we get into all of that, let's make sure that we can build an underlying topology that will facilitate our configuration practice and an easy way to do that, as you can see here, is five total routers. We have a hub router. We have a router one that represents like our headquarters hub, let's say, getting out through an ISP device. So the router one can simulate nicely the cloud, but also you could get into some specific scenarios where maybe it is an edge router of yours that is not going to be directly participating in the DMVPN that is more of a hop in the DMVPN environment. You'll note that that device is really pretty optional, but it is fun to build it this way. So the hub and then our router one device and then the spokes of the hub and spoke. And the spokes are being played by router two, router three and router four in this video. And I know some of you sharp-eyed students out there are looking at this and going, that's a viral topology. Uh, so yes, this is absolutely viral. And in fact, I have a link below that you can download this viral topology if you would like it. Uh, you can build something similar and I'll show you the addressing that I used in this scenario next up here, because that's our task in this first of several configuration and verification and troubleshooting videos on the DMVPN I'm going to do in this one. Uh, we need to make sure that we have the underlying topology built and in place. And I wanted to show you that there was, you know, static routing going on in the underlying technology for routing so that you didn't think there were layers of this that you weren't really seeing. So let's get in there and get the routing in place right now. So we'll begin our configuration on the hub device. And I am going to simply add to this hub device three static routes. These static routes are to the 192.168.2 and 192.168.3 and 192.168.4 networks. And those are reachable from our edge router, router one, and the address 192.168.1.1. So notice what we're doing here with the simple addressing scheme. We have the 192.168.1 subnet between the hub and router one, and then I'll call them the spoke subnets. We have the dot two, the dot three, and the dot four, respectfully, for those routers R2, R3, and R4 that are our spokes, and that is the hop that's beyond the hub and its little edge router. So that should give us reachability to those areas in that direction. Now, of course, we need to go out to each of the spoke devices and give an appropriate return pathing information for the hub to router one network. So we are going to now head out to those spoke devices and give the appropriate static routes out there. So I'll begin on router two and I will drop in a host route. So we are directing traffic to 192.168.1.100, our hub device. We are directing that traffic to the next top of 192.168.2.1. That's on the router two network area. If we go over to router three, I can just uh, drop in the 192.168.3.1 as the next hop for that host route. And then we have one more to do. It'll be the router four device. And let me paste in our IP route and just make sure I doctor it up properly for the 4.1 address on this segment. So we have our routing in place that's going to underlay the DMVPN solution that we're going to overlay over the top. And we should test stuff here before we wrap up this video where we're building the foundation 
for the DMVPN that we'll begin to configure in the next video. What we're going to uh, do for a test, I suppose the really simple thing to do and prudent thing to do is to go to the hub device and test reachability now into those various network segments of 192.168 uh, and, you know, dot two, dot three, dot four, that we should now have full reachability to. So we will not configure anything. Let's just jump right into ping and do a 192.168.2.1. And look at that. We have reachability into that segment. How about the 3.1? That works beautifully. And finally, 4.1. And that is also a success. So the underlay tech, uh, topology is all built now for the DMVPN solution. And that's what we're going to jump in and tackle in the very next video. We are going to begin with the hub configuration. And it's the hub configuration that we can just take from the configuration example that's given in the appropriate DMVM, DMVPN documentation from Cisco that I mentioned in the previous video. So we can just take that configuration. We can modify it as we need to apply it to the hub and then apply the appropriate spoke configurations. And that's what we're going to be looking at in the next video. Thanks for joining me in this video and get that base topology set up so that we can have more fun with the DMVPN configuration.